Hi everyone, so this is my Makeup Forever HD foundation review and demo. First off, let me tell you, I bought this foundation back in March, in the spring. And at the time, I knew which shade I wanted, number 128. I like when you take pictures, it makes your skin look so beautiful and so flawless. So... If you are interested more on my review and demo, then keep on watching, okay? Okay, everyone, so this is the demo part, and I know it's a little bit up close, but I intentionally wanted that because I wanted to for you to see how my skin really looks. Um, it's not perfect, you know, <laughs> although I would like to have perfect skin. is the illusion, right, of makeup, creating that illusion. But I do have some sunspots right here, like very little. I mean, it's, it's not that noticeable, but um, this foundation is great because it covers that. This one is the Magic Lumi, so it's a primer because you can use this one, and I'm going to pump it up right here in my hand. So I'm just going to get my stippling brush by MAC. This is the 187, and I'm just going to go in here, and I'm just going to apply it all over my face. And yes, it's white, but you can use any primer that you may want to use. I know Revlon makes one, so that's Drugstore, but also Makeup Forever makes one too. So what's great about the L'Oreal Magic Lumi is that it's a primer for your face, and I used it for the summer before I even applied my Makeup Forever HD foundation. And also what I like about it is that you can mix it with your foundation if you wanted to, or you can apply it again like I did as a primer, or you can apply it as a highlight. It reflects um the light and, and it really looks really pretty on your on your skin it makes it really nice and glowy let's move on towards the makeup application and the shade that i have is in number 128 let me tell you the things that i like about this foundation you do one pump it gives you one pump mine because i'm almost done with it that's the reason why it's pumping like that but when you buy new when you pump one pump it gives you one pump and the reason why i picked this color was because I knew for certain that I was going to use it during the spring and summer. And it's going to give me that tan effect. So if you're medium to tan, this is your shade for you. If you are darker skin tone than that, then that shade is not going to show up on you. And then if you're lighter skin tone, it's going to look very muddy on your face. And you don't want that. And right now, because I have very little, not a lot comes out. <laughs> but you can see it's very fluid. So it's really nice. And I'm going to use my stippling brush, the 187 by MAC. This is the one that I like to use. And I'm just going to go in there and start um, applying the foundation. And as you can tell, it's already covering. You see that? That's why I wanted to come close so that way you can tell. And it feels really nice on the skin. It doesn't feel heavy. So I like this foundation for that. Now, usually I only do one pump and a half, but because my... My foundation is almost gone. <laughs> so that's the reason why I'm pumping more. Um, so here we go again. I'm just going to apply the other side of my face. It's one of the most easiest foundations I have ever tried. Besides MAC. Because yeah, I, I, I lean towards MAC a lot. But this one, surprisingly, I loved it a lot. Yeah. And it's medium to full coverage. Yeah. And I wouldn't, I would recommend it for ladies who have dry skin. Unlike ladies who have very oily skin, I do not recommend it because it's going to slip and slide on you. Like literally, you're, it's going to melt off your face and you don't want that. So after I apply my concealer and set it, I'm going to show you how I use the dual matte. And yeah, so I'll be back. Okay, so I already finished applying my concealer and my setting powder underneath. All I need to do right now is show you how... I apply the dual matte. This one is in number 209. It's a compact. It has a mirror. And that's the shade. And this is the color. Okay, right here. So I'm going to give it a nice... It doesn't really... You can't really tell, but... But you get you get the feeling of... It's a tan effect. Um, powder. And then it comes with a little sponge, but I don't use that. I use the Real Techniques, and this is just a powder brush. And I go in there. Like so. With the dual matte, it's supposed to mattify your foundation. But for me, it didn't do that as much. Um, so, yeah. But I like the effect that it gave me. So, I don't know if you can tell. 
instantly it changed the color of my skin already and your skin will look flawless okay <laughs> so it's really camera friendly like it's meant for for high definition videos and taking pictures and that's what this foundation gives you now i'm just gonna apply my blush and my highlight and then i'll be back okay so i already applied my blush and my highlight and i'll have everything that i use in the description box as well as links down below okay the last step that i highly recommend is just getting any setting spray that you may want whether it's mac this one is the mac fix plus or this one is the urban decay and this one is the chill so it's cooling and hydrating it says right there so it's gonna lock your makeup and it's gonna maintain it in its place from the moment you apply it in the morning to maybe at night it's gonna stay right there okay so here we go i was using the mac fix plus but i'm not using that one anymore that one only has water <laughs> yeah but i i did love it at the time when i was using it but this one i'm using right now is the urban decay so i'm gonna shake it so you don't hear anything now close my eyes feels really nice on the skin okay i'm gonna show you the foundation that is supposed to be here on youtube claim to be the dupe and as i was using it more and more i noticed that it really wasn't the dupe personally for me i don't think it is and the reasons why so the first thing is obviously the packaging is a little different but kind of similar i can see why people would say it's the dupe but the pump of the makeup forever is so easy to pump it gives you one pump exactly whereas the revlon photo ready as you pump it keeps on going it just i don't know if you, i'm gonna show you do you see how much that is that is a lot i wouldn't even use that much on my face that's too much so that's one number two this one doesn't have shimmers the makeup forever whereas this one does have shimmers um i wouldn't say it gives a dewy effect like this one this one really gives that dewy effect into your skin this one on your skin it looks like shimmers but in order to cancel those shimmers you can use like a, a mattifying powder whether it's the rimmel stay matte or you can use the studio fix which i love with this one and then the other thing that is not the same with these two foundations come to figure out is that with this one you, you saw how i showed you with the dual matte even though it's mattifying right now it looks like it's mattifying that it's gonna stay in place then it's not gonna you know it's not gonna melt off my face or it's not gonna move I would say the only dislike about this foundation is that by the fourth hour I noticed that it starts oxidizing on my on my face and then also if I would have went like this in a few hours you could have seen like the residue of the of the foundation whereas this one you can't and then this one you can mattify it completely mattify it and it stays in place for eight hours this one for me did not stay on my face for eight hours the most that it stayed was six hours tops and i use different mattifying powders some um, mattifying kind of effect powders like the rimmel the mac the makeup forever and it just wasn't doing it enough mattifying for me but then again this is not a mattifying foundation you see do i feel that the revlon is the dupe for this one no it's not it's amazing foundation don't get me wrong the revlon but it, it does different things this one completely different of course again it is wonderful i like how it feels on the skin i like how easy it is to apply you know it's, it's simple um whether you want to use a stippling brush like i did like i showed you or you want to use like a beauty blender or this one is the stila you can use that if you want to um very easy to use i like the pump i like the packaging i like that it's clear you can see your foundation and even if you have very little you can open it and i'm going to show you right now if let's say you love this foundation so much and you're like like me like i'm scraping <laughs> 
you can open open the pump and you can get you know with a spatula or, or something and take out the remainder of the foundation so i like that it is expensive but i feel that it's a reason why and i like the effect that it gives on the skin it really gives that beautiful flawless skin that you don't have right but it gives it to you and i love it so am i gonna repurchase this yes i will repurchase this in the future but most likely it's gonna be a different color shade <laughs> yeah but i if you are looking for that effect of oh i want to look like i want that skin like j-lo or i want that long time ago she had that beautiful tan effect like kim kardashian and j-lo and you want that this is going to give it to you and another thing that i have noticed also is on the sephora comments many people have said that they don't like that their shade is not match that the makeup artist didn't match them to their exact shade and the reason why is because you're under different lighting lighting in the stores at a counter is going to be different than if whether if you were at home or if you were outside in natural lighting what i highly recommend is that even before you buy your foundation is go to sephora and ask can i get samples of different shades or can you match me take it home apply it and then see if it really if you really love it and then you purchase it now if you have done your research and you happen to watch this video and you happen to love the video and you're like okay i want this foundation remember again i do not recommend this foundation for girls or guys because my the makeup artist who who helped me um pick up this shade of the powder of the dual mat he had flawless skin and he told me it was this one the makeup forever and he didn't have oily skin so that's the one question he asked me do you have oily skin and i and i said to him no i don't have oily skin i have dry to normal combination skin and he's like that's great so just follow that rule of thumb make sure you have normal to dry skin and if you have oily skin i'm so sorry it's it just it's just gonna melt off your face and you don't want that so I'm not gonna recommend something to you ladies or gentlemen if it's not gonna work for you. Now, do I have any dupes at home? No, I don't. <laughs> Even the one that I really thought it was a dupe, it's not really a dupe, so. But it's a great foundation though, and I love it. I've been using that one recently. Because this one, it's almost gone. Like really, really gone, almost. <laughs> the longevity of this foundation, I noticed it was six hours on me. By the fourth hour, it was starting to oxidize. <laughs> it started like oxidizing, you know, it, it's like, and then you can start feeling like the foundation seeping through the powder. So it is not mattifying this foundation. If that's what you're looking for, this is not your foundation for you. Doesn't matter what shade really you are because most likely they will have it. Um, so you don't have to worry about that. But then again, go to your makeup artist at Sephora or Let's say, for instance, that I know here in LA, they have a Makeup Forever um, store, their store, and they only sell Makeup Forever products, and they have Makeup Forever uh, artists, and they can give you those hands-on um, tools that you want to learn with them. And I know they have their primer, but at the time when I bought this foundation, the makeup artist, um, there was a lot of customers around him, so he didn't have the time, the quality time to even suggest a primer and I, know, and I know the makeup forever has a primer but i don't have one so that's the reason why i don't i didn't even show it because i don't have one if he would have recommended the primer would i have bought it yes i would have would it have made a difference i don't know maybe um so all those things are like maybe they would have played a different factor into my skin when it comes to the longevity of this foundation but then again i don't have it <laughs> i really can't tell you if it makes a huge difference of their primers i'm pretty sure it does because with the whole point of the makeup forever line i know with their hd it's supposed to go hand in hand um the primer i don't have the foundation the powder and i know they have <clears throat> this one is by mac but i know makeup forever has their own little setting powder the makeup forever has a kit and it comes with the foundation a full size a powder of your choice foundation and powder of your choice and then it comes with a little kabuki and i think it comes also with a powder and i'm not sure if it comes with a primer i'm not sure but i'll 
look for it online and I'll link it down below for you ladies and gentlemen okay that's if you if you wanted that instead of just the foundation so I'm just gonna I'm gonna link down individually the foundation the powder and the setting powders the kabuki and then also the whole kit in case you are interested okay and it's gonna be linked through I think Sephora's website I'm gonna link it because that's where I bought it so there you go I hope this video was informative I hope it was helpful and if you have any further questions just leave it down below in the comment section I'll be more than happy to reply to your comments <laughs> so thank you for watching and bye